This is crazy. Not a single video on YouTube exists on this topic yet. It seems that nobody is aware that ChatGPT is able to make an aimbot for literally every single game. Look at it at work in one of the most popular first person shooters that I won't say the name of according to YouTube's policy on hacking in a private game with no esports or without interacting with other players at all. Please don't YouTube, do not demonetize me, please. Let me explain. If anybody tries to make an aimbot or any game hack for that matter, ChatGPT will turn on its ethics mode and say, no, bad boy. If you social engineer the artificial intelligence by wording your question in a different way, you can trick it into doing what you want and it will not kick on its ethics mode. That's exactly how he made this aimbot right here. Just hold shift. All right, hold shit. Oh my God, it's locking right onto me. I'm gonna be like looking here, like I'm way off with my accuracy. I'm gonna just tap shift and it's locking onto me. Like I can move, I can walk around and it's gonna still stay locked on. This is on Minecraft in specific. And yeah, this, the source, I made it using like uh, chat GPT. It helped me with like 80% of the process. Oh my God, bro. I'm literally just holding shift right now. It's locking on directly to this. <laughs> You're not gonna miss a single bullet. <laughs> nine, oh my nine God, accuracy. That's nuts. Yeah, it's hitting every single second of it is being locked on. The way that this aimbot is working is that it's locking onto a specific color of the person. So any video game that has you looking at a certain color, it will just lock onto that. And the scariest part about all of this, nobody's getting banned for using this. I guess the AI that made this hack was more sophisticated than the AI that they used to detect if somebody else is hacking. That's the only way that this could make sense. It's happening through a looking glass type of feature. It's not really changing the code of the game. It's just working on top of the game, which I guess they weren't even expecting to work to begin with. It's uh, blue. Okay, good. If I'm not mistaken, you just put on a colorblind filter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if somebody's colorblind, it changes the way that the characters look for them. Yeah. yeah. And so, so that's what's being exploited right now to use this hack on, on the actual game. Yeah. Oh my God, bro. I'm just literally, I'm just holding shift and look, look what's happening. That is so broken. Oh my. How about someone's like this far away? Is it still going to lock onto them? Let's it's see. still going to work. still going to work. doesn't matter. Oh my God, bro. Every single bullet's connecting too. Now this is one of the most popular first person shooter games. And it's still not able to even detect that he's using this AI uh, aimbot hacking method. What the hell, bro? It's the power of the scope. If you don't have it, the uh, aimbot is not going to work. So you've been using this online and it's been working? Yeah. So this has been working for over like a month, you said, right? Yeah. And you're still not banned because we're on your account right now, clearly. Yeah. Oh my God. If you like um, go on one clip everywhere, you're actually going to get banned with, within like two or three weeks by getting reported. To get reported by hard cheating and like one clip in everyone ruining the game. So you kind of have to make it seem like you're not cheating by yeah. missing some bullets intentionally and not putting the whole clip into their head. You can change like the settings in the menu and make it legit. You can change this to like uh, five or six. Okay. Try it out now. It, it, it looks a lot more like legit. Whoa, it looks like it looks like real. It looks like a human being that is really good at aiming. And yeah, it is a little bit slower behind them. It does miss some, but yeah, that's true. That's true. Now that looks legit. Oh my God. Nobody can even tell if you're cheating or not. The only way that he could get banned is if somebody reports it. So if nobody reports it, nobody can tell that he's cheating. And if he intentionally, you know, stops shooting or misses some bullets or makes his smoothing look like it's a real person that's locking onto a target, then he's not going to get banned in this game until they increase their security or upgrade their AI somehow. Obviously asking ChatGPT to write you an aimbot script for a video game, it won't let you do that, right? So how did you trick it? Don't tell me exactly what you said, but generally, how did you trick this bot into doing what you wanted? You know how the aimbot have to like uh, first look at your screen? Yeah. And then you're going to tell it to, to like, um, to aim at the color or like then find the color. Ah, oh, so it looks, so ChatGPT thinks that it's making you a color finding tool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you ask ChatGPT, uh, not using the word aimbot, but a more very specific question, like, can you write me code that does exactly this? It won't know that it's helping you make an aimbot or cheating at a, at a video game. Yeah, it's not gonna know. In the game called RuneScape, basically they have like the craziest cheat detection systems. They can tell if your mouse is moving too mechanical and they'll literally ban you. The people that make bots for RuneScape, they literally like have AI, human-like movements that accidentally, intentionally misclick certain things, pause their mouse, or they accidentally push their mouse to the side to make it look like it's a real human. It's almost like you can't distinguish between the AI bot and the human being on RuneScape. I feel like eventually it's going to come to that with these first-person shooters one day, because why wouldn't it, right? Like if we can make it seem like right now that I'm a human being, 
and I'm missing some shots, but I'm also kind of like nailing most of them, then why can't somebody just implement an AI with a human-like mouse movement that misses some shots and you know moves around and stuff to make it seem like it's a real person? If somebody with minimal coding knowledge can create an aimbot and some of the world's biggest first-person shooters that they can't even detect, then gaming is gonna become a scary platform for all of us. Thank you for all watching this video. Stay dreaming, stay lucid. I'm out. Peace.